I learned how to animate in After Effects in only three days by just watching and copying YouTube tutorials. And now several years later, I'm finally going to give back to the world by helping you guys out and showing you exactly how you can create this unique chessboard animation in After Effects. Also, if there are any content creators watching, check out the top link in the description. My website may have something of interest to you. Right, so the first thing you wanna do is create a new composition. I'm gonna name mine Chess Animation. And then what you want to do is import the assets you're going to use. I've got a bunch of stick men and a chessboard. I'm going to import the chessboard. I'm going to press the 3D icon to make it 3D. And I'm going to press P to open up the position. I'm going to rotate it. And basically, I'm going to organize it and put it in a position. So and then it looks roughly like this. So and then it's almost flat, but not completely flat. Then I'm going to import the stick men and I'm going to put them, I'm going to import them together and put them above the chessboard. And I'm going to press P on the keyboard to open up position and I'm going to move them to separate them from each other. So, and then you can individually see all six of them. I'm going to then move them. So, and then they are wherever I want them to be on the chessboard. So I want them to be in the middle of a square and I'm on, I want them to be just opposite i want two teams basically of three on each side so i'm just going to move like randomly move them so and then they are on separate squares at either end of the chessboard like a normal game of chess would be i'm also going to import my background which i'm going to put um below like below the stick men and the chessboard and it's going to be this misty background that i've got here it's just a quick overlay like this simple overlay you can get on uh, YouTube. I'm also going to organize all of the stick men. So and then they are all um, in order. So as you can see here, it goes uh, one, two, three, and they are all next to each other. So and then if because if, if one which should be behind is actually in front, then it will look weird. Um, then you obviously, actually no, you don't obviously, but and then you scale down the ones further away. So and then you get that realistic look. So I'm going to put 70 for the one at the back. And I'm going to pit 110 roughly for the one at the front. And this will make the one at the front look bigger and it will give a sense of depth. And I'm going to make the middle one 95. And I'm going to do the same with the other side with the other three stick men. So I'm going to make it um, 80 on this one. Um, and then what I'm going to do is keyframe all of the positions of all of them. Um, and then just... I'm going to get all of the keyframes I've just made and move them forward slightly. Okay, that's that's too far. So I'm just going to make it so it's a couple seconds forward. There you go. Maybe one second. This is so it doesn't move instantly because uh, you don't want it to be... Um, you want, I want to give it... Make it stretch out the um, animation a bit more. But yeah, um, then I want to go forward a bit more, maybe a second or two after. And I'm going to move... Actually, no, not all of them. I'm going to move them individually like the first one here, I'm going to move it a couple squares forward like I, it's just made a chess move. And I'm going to do the same with the other one, but I'm going to move it to a, not maybe, I'm going to move it one forward, one more than the other one, so it looks like they're moving randomly instead of just being all moving to the same one. It gives it a bit more, it makes it look more a bit more interesting. And yeah, just keyframe it a couple seconds after the original and do the same with all of them. So, and then they are kind of like getting closer to each other. So like, um the ones on the closest to the camera or the, the ones closest to us are like facing each other and you've got this nice so like they're coming in to fight each other but make it random so it's not just like a line of people so it looks robotic make it so it looks realistic like they're moving at different times and this this is what you should have so far it looks a bit laggy but yeah this is it's not smooth so to make it smooth you want to highlight the keyframes um actually you know what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to randomly move them um so and then they don't all start at the same time so they don't seem robotic they seem a lot more natural like if you're going to go into a war not every single person would move at the exact same time you'd have one slightly being a bit braver than the others and moving a bit earlier so there you go like that's what they they all move at different times it looks a lot more natural um yeah i'm just gonna play around with them here until i get roughly what i want you just play around with what you want as well i'm also going to press f9 um after highlighting all of them and then I'm going to go to the graph editor and I'm going to move the left toggle closer to the middle and the right toggle closer to the middle to make a steep bump. And I'm going to do the same with all of them. I'm going to highlight the second two lines, the second um, two 
lines of keyframes and move the toggles closer to each other as well to create another steep bump line thing. Um, I'm just going to make sure I do that with all of them because and make sure that the lines are the same as well like they have the same steepness so and then it looks natural so yeah i'm just gonna time lapse this so this is what you should have now they should move in a lot more swiftly and it will give it a lot it starts off slow goes in faster and then goes off slow again and search up in the effects control panel glow and add that to the stick men um i'll change the Glow based on to alpha channel, change the glow threshold down to zero and change the glow intensity to 1.1. Then just change the color to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to make mine blue and I'm going to copy the glow effect and paste it onto every single one of the stick men layers. So all six of them, I'm just going to go control C and then just control V and control V, control V and do it for each one until it's on all of the stick men. Then I'm going to change the color of the stick men on the right to red. So, and then it separates the two teams. So then it really looks like they're really, they're the two teams fighting against each other. Um, so then this is what you should have so far. It's really starting to come together here. So the next thing you want to do is press alt click on the position keyframe and just change it to wiggle uh, to uh, six, like I've got on screen. It's a bit weird. This seems like your ad, like, it seems like you're coding here, but it's a bit like trust me. Just do this. Um, alt click on the position key, f um, stopwatch thing, and then just change it to wiggle to six on every um every single stick man one. And what this is going to do is just make basically make it so each um stick man has a bit more movement and they're wiggling around randomly a bit instead of just being completely stationary and robotic. And this is what you should have so far. It's a bit laggy again, but you can see them moving around. It's like they're rustling around to get ready to fight. The next thing you want to do is create a new composition and just name it main comp or just whatever you want it to be. Next thing you want to do after that is just go up to project and import the um, chess animation composition into the main comp. And this will be everything simplified down to just one and press S to open up scale keyframe the scale when things when they start to move faster and then just keyframe it again when they start to slow down again at 120. I'm just going to change it to maybe 110. I'll highlight them, press F9, and then create the same steep line like you've made a few times already. Just, yeah, move the toggle closer to the left and move the other one to the right. And then you should have like this kind of look where it's like it zooms in at the same speed, at, at the same time and at the same speed as when things start to, like the characters start to move closer together like this you know see how they move it like zooms in slightly i'm just going to space out the keyframes a bit so it looks a bit more natural and i'm going to get the text icon and i'm going to type up fight and you can type up anything you want this is just an example animation so it doesn't really mean that much but i'm going to use the monster at font but i'm going to also align the text on the align section and i'm going to search up in the effects and controls panel drop shadow and add that to the text and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is just increase the distance. It can be, I don't know what I've, maybe 20 and I'm going to increase the softness as well. And then you, this is what it should look like before and after just makes it look a bit nicer. And I'm going to search up on the effects control panel, uh, gradient ramp. And I'm also going to add that to the text. And what I'm going to do is press swap colors and move each one like, um, closer to the text so and then it's light at the top and dark at the bottom and i'm going to increase the blend um with original just so and then it's a bit a bit brighter um just play around with it until you get you one i'm just gonna make it like 50 or something um i'm gonna, I'm gonna press t and keyframe the opacity at zero percent at the start i'm going to go forward a bit maybe half a second or so and then i'm just going to increase the opacity to 100 again and this may should make the text fade in and then when they start to actually move closer to each other, the stick men, I'm going to then make the text slowly fade out again or quickly fade out by keyframing uh, key the opacity like this. And if you've done everything right, this should be your finished animation. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a content creator looking to grow and scale your business while also saving a massive amount of time, check out my website through the top link in the description.